Hi, this is Coach World TV, and I'm Laurie Lawson, and tonight I have such a special guest, I can't wait to tell you about her. Elena, Elena, did I say it? Yes, Elan. That's perfect. No, Elena. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> she's really special, I've just got to learn her name. <laughs> Elena Morrow from Italy, and what makes her so special to me and near and dear to our heart is that she is an ICF NYC member. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I'm very glad of that. <laughs> I am too. <laughs> and so when she's in town, it's like, okay, I'm dying to talk to you. So welcome, Elena. How are Thank you? you. <laughs> and you're going back tomorrow, right? Yes, back tomorrow to mm -hmm. Milan. But she, she'll be coming back again, and we're going to try to tap into all the things she's doing. She's got so many things going. First of all, tell us. We want to know what coaching is like in Italy, but tell us, how did you get into coaching personally? Uh, yeah, well, uh, coaching in Italy now is, uh, is growing, uh, mm -hmm. is a growing market. Uh, the esteem is that there are uh, around 1,000 coaches, uh, uh, even if just 400 are ICF uh, members. I'm, su I'm surprised at that number, to tell you the truth. I, okay, I'm going to ask you many uh, questions. Go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> uh, and uh, actually, uh, the, the market is growing. Uh, uh, you can think of uh, there were just 250 coaches uh, as ICF members in 2008, mm -hmm. uh, and now this year uh, they are 400. Uh, wow. So also the ICF members, as coaches are, are really growing. Amazing. The market is growing a lot, plus 20%, uh, but uh, it's still a small market. Uh, we are talking about, uh, a, a, again, an esteem uh, of uh, uh, 15 million euros, uh, uh, which is not that, that much uh, mm -hmm. a, as a market. And uh, now I can see, I start uh, um, to be interested in coaching in uh, 2006. Uh, at the time, I was... Uh, uh, the strategic planning director uh, of a big company in Italy, and mm -hmm. I was just thinking to go back uh, to my consultancy uh, <laughs> work. No corporate for you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we, we know that feeling, a lot of us uh, <laughs> ended up in coaching because it's like, no more corporate, thank you. <laughs> so uh, uh, then I left the company in 2008, uh, mm. and uh, uh, I, um, I followed uh, my training uh, to become a certified uh, coach. So my, uh, mm -hmm. uh, m this, this my stream of coaching uh, uh, just started in 2008, in November 2008. Where did you hear about coaching? Well, actually, uh, some friends of mine talked to me uh, mm -hmm. because they were saying, uh, well, you know, Elena, you have so many interests. Uh, uh, you are very good uh, as a strategic planner, uh, but you like people. And <laughs> so uh, it's time for you, perhaps, uh, to match uh, your liking people uh, and, uh, and your business uh, activity as well. Mm. Uh, and so um, that was the reason why I was uh, thinking of coming back uh, to uh, consultancy uh, because I have been a consultant uh, in my professional life I have been working for mm -hmm. McKinsey and Company um, and I, I really loved it uh, th the problem with consultancy was that uh, you you did not uh, have uh, any kind of, uh, of personal life yeah. so <laughs> at 32 <laughs> years old I just said okay <laughs> this is it <laughs> I love this work uh, but I moved mm -hmm. to uh, to a company Mm. Uh, and then uh, being a manager for so many years, uh, I was very lucky. I uh, really learned uh, lots of things. Uh, I was mm. a marketing manager, strategic planning manager, sales manager. So wow. I did different things. But then uh, in, in 2008, uh, I, I told to myself what I want to do to have fun. Uh, in the <laughs> next uh, 15 years uh, and I said well let's go back to consultancy uh, and coaching was really uh, fascinating me and mm. uh, and I have to say that I'm very happy now I am a certified uh, coach I have my uh, clients uh, I also have been doing some big uh, projects uh, in a medium size company uh, in Ooh. Italy on mm -hmm. uh, with the middle management I love working with a middle management that's the forgotten segment it's usually always the people trying to get into middle management or the people above driving middle management crazy but that is the good one that's that's the interesting section because they're the sam they're the buffer really between the two. So yeah, and I have to say that when I left uh, the big corporate uh, companies, uh, I um, now I'm a consultant for the small, medium-sized uh, companies in mm. uh, in Italy, 
And I have to say that the middle manager management uh, in both companies is so important uh, because you have just a few manager. I mean, um, talking about a company of uh, let's say uh, 200 uh, million dollars uh, revenues, mm. you just have uh, the general manager and and. Uh, or the CEO uh, who is the entrepreneur, uh, often uh, he's the one, I mean, yes. uh, he's the owner <laughs> of the company. Sometimes he is middle management. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah really and smart. you have a, t a couple of, uh, of managers uh, mm -hmm. and then uh, you have middle management. And so the middle mm -hmm. management is the core of a company and it's mm -hmm. so important to work on them with, uh, with coaching. And I have to say that some entrepreneurs who are really thinking of developing their company and mm -hmm. having people happy, uh, they, uh, they ask for uh, coaching projects, for training and coaching projects. And I'm very happy of that. A couple of things I want to ask you, a million things I want to ask you. <laughs> <laughs> we only have 28 minutes, so I'm going to try to get them all in. Um, one is, okay, so are there many coaching schools in Italy where you are? Because I heard about coaching on television. There was a show about coaching. It's like, oh, I want to be one of those. How did, I mean, are there schools there? Is that easy? Yeah. Or did you have to go somewhere else to get trained? No, it's it's quite easy to find a school. You can even choose. I I, oh. uh, I choose my uh, my school. Uh, you had a selection. And, uh, okay. Yeah, I, I cool. Just did a selection uh, because you know mm -hmm. in uh, in the late 90s, uh, Coach U uh, came uh, right. to uh, to Milan, to Italy, yeah, really? to Italy. And actually, in Milan, uh, it's easier uh, because uh, the main schools uh, are all based in Milan. So to me, you know, it, it was quite e easier. Yeah. And uh, then the change partnership, uh, it's a uh, um, uh, UK school, uh, uh, and it's quite famous in uh, But it's in also um, in, in it's Milan? It's also in Milan. It's wow. the school I attended. Uh, and uh, and then there are the Life Coach Lab, the one uh, founded by Giovanna D'Alessio. Ah, uh, the past ICF yeah. global president. And, and, and really and brought Italy to the forefront, <laughs> yes. <laughs> she was so dynamic. It was, yeah. And, uh, and then future, I mean, there are... Uh, five to six uh, school uh, with uh, important brands, uh, international or Italian uh, or mm -hmm. Italian ones. Uh, they, uh, they, they, their training is uh, from different perspectives, uh, so it was mm -hmm. nice because, uh, of course, I chose uh, a business perspective uh, because right. I, I come from that kind of world. Uh, I actually, w what I uh, one of the reasons why I was so interested in coaching was, uh, of course, uh, helping people is always nice, uh, and and the <laughs> idea of uh, having them uh, happier uh, is nice. <laughs> why uh, not? Yeah. On the other hand, uh, for my consultancy uh, work, uh, it's really important to me, coach, because now I have you know tools uh, uh, and different perspectives uh, uh, from which I can really uh, have a good relationship with entrepreneurs. Mm. especially and uh, help him uh, in uh, thinking of his strategic plan uh, but you know in another way uh, because these are special very special guys uh, uh, but mm -hmm. as special guys uh, y you have to build with them uh, a very special relationship uh, and it's based on trust uh, first of all uh, and then uh, the way you act uh, and you behave uh, during the relationship is so important also for the decisions uh, they are going to make. Definitely. So it's, Definitely. Uh, it's, you know, it's, it's, really, it's really important to me being a coach uh, also as a consultant. Now, maybe I've been given in wrong information, but I've been told that in Italy and even in the UK, um, having a coach is... Not, in America, it's kind of like a status symbol. Well, sure, yeah. I have my own coach and my own psychiatrist, you know, and, and we're, we're kind of like that. But in Italy, I understand, and, and also UK, it's like it's a little more traditional and people are a little more leery about, an un, you know, unwilling to have a coach. Are you finding that or are you finding yeah. it's finally you do? Okay. Yeah, well, uh, many managers, they don't want to have a coach, especially if uh, this is decided uh, by the company because uh -huh. they say I'm okay uh, I'm a good manager <laughs> well, I know what, I I'm know, doing. Uh, what the, my problems or anyhow the problems uh, I have to uh, to deal with are mm -hmm. uh, and I'm perfect uh, I'm perfectly aware and uh, I can solve them okay uh, so yeah. this is especially when the company says hey you 
get a Perhaps, coach. Uh, yeah, get, <laughs> get a, a coach. coach or get out. Yeah. Um, on a private basis, instead, uh, coaching is really spreading out. Oh, okay. uh, and uh, I have uh, clients uh, that are uh, uh, very good managers and important ones as well, uh, but on a private basis. Uh, and on a private basis, uh, they really care about uh, uh, not uh, uh, having, uh, uh, you know, they, they don't want people to know that they have a coach. Okay. So, oh, okay. okay. So it's still the so same. So it's quite a secret uh, oh, matter. Oh, okay. okay. Well, we, you know, we always say we're all these very conscientious here too we want you know confidentiality it's it's no we don't tell people that that's our client if they want to tell them they're fine so you're saying most of your clients are private most of my clients well yeah mm -hmm. I have many private private clients mm -hmm. and then I do some coaching projects uh, with uh, small medium companies my private clients are executives uh, entrepreneurs mm -hmm. uh, executives right. and then uh, I uh, I have uh, uh, other clients uh, uh, where I, I work uh, on the middle management uh, with mm -hmm. a mixture of uh, training uh, and uh, and coaching uh, and this is are quite mm -hmm. uh, important huge projects for the, for the yeah. company size. Huh? Let me tell you how special Alana is because she has managed, and I know everybody says you can't do this, she's managed to combine consultancy and coaching and get a career out of it. How do you like that? So it's like <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm sure you're going to tell me that your coaching has enhanced whatever consulting you do and you sort of slip it in. It's like you don't go up and go, hi, I'm a coach. You're at, for, for corporations that want you inside, you're the consultant is that right? Uh, yeah, well, for the small, medium uh, companies uh, mm -hmm. I'm working with, uh, I, I present myself as a consultant. Okay. Uh, but then uh, for uh, on the, the coaching side, well, I present myself as a consultant and also being a coach. So oh, okay. I have some clients uh, where I just work uh, as a consultant, but I'm working actually as a business coach sometimes, uh, not in a declared manner. Right. But when I'm working for the strategic plan uh, with uh, the entrepreneur, of course, uh, I'm doing some business coaching. Uh, You're because, asking the right questions. Yeah, yes. <laughs> because he has his vision he, in, in his mind, uh, but mm -hmm. he just can't uh, um, uh, uh, declare it. Uh, or, you know, I ne he needs me because... Uh, he needs to have things defined mm -hmm. and what they want to see especially as they are entrepreneurs uh, of small medium companies is under uh, understanding that uh, what th their vision uh, becomes a strategy and the strategy becomes an operational plan so uh, my work is just uh, uh, having them uh, declare and define their mm -hmm. vision uh, and then uh, uh, have uh, uh, just uh, elaborate uh, an operational plan. So they are very happy with that. Right. But the first part uh, is business coaching. Definitely. Which you don't even have to tell them that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then with some other clients, uh, for example, the ones are medium medium sized companies uh, mm -hmm. uh, and they want to work uh, with a middle management. Uh, uh, I present myself uh, uh, as a coach, uh, but they really like the idea that I'm a consultant mm -hmm. because they say you have a business language. Uh, you can yes. understand uh, what we are going on, uh, what we are doing. Mm -hmm. uh, you can help our people because I can coach a guy uh, because he's, uh, he, he has a new responsibility. But you know, if he has no clear idea of, of the role he has, uh, right. uh, it's difficult for him uh, to act uh, in the right way for the company. And so they are very happy of, of these two sides of myself, uh, yeah. uh, the consultant uh, and, uh, You're and the coach. You're bringing the best of both worlds, which is uh, how could anybody not benefit from that? And that's very similar to what we do in life coaching. It's like, you know, first it's so many clients come to us and they don't even know what they want. So you have to get the vision clear and then you have to get them an action plan to get to where they're going. Um, I, I heard a, a marvelous quote uh, that I think I told you about. It's like, it, and it's every dream needs an Excel sheet, which is just simply, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to have the vision, but you got to figure out a way to get there. So you help them get the vision as, with a business coach thing, and then getting them there is more like the consultant thing, right? Yeah. 
that, that, that's what I do with uh, small, medium companies. When there are the big companies, the corporation, I have to say that I prefer not to work directly with them uh, because it's quite complicated, you know. Uh, you have to present yourself to so many people, so wait yes. a long time. So sometimes are other companies calling me as a coach, uh, but I, I'm, I'm not going with, with my name and my personal brand. Uh, I'm just going uh, with a brand uh, of, uh, of, of the other company. And mm. I like it as well, I mean, uh, because yeah. I like, you know, coaching. And, uh, and then I have my private clients uh, uh, that are coming from uh, one head, the headhunter. Uh, because, you know, it's uh, coaching, it's a sort of win-win situation with the headhunters because mm -hmm. they, their objective is uh, to find the right person uh, for a client. Absolutely. Uh, and then uh, uh, the managers uh, have a headhunter as a, a possible, you know, a guy uh, to uh, uh, whom present mm -hmm. themselves uh, when they want to change the, their work. Mm -hmm. But for the headhunter, it's, you know, it's a sort of uh, losing time, uh, stress. Uh, and so uh, they say, well, go to a coach uh, and ask uh, to be helped uh, or go to a coach uh, and tell the coach uh, all the stress you have with your actual work mm -hmm. and natural company. Right. So this is really a, a sort of a win-win situation. And in fact, uh, in Italy, well, the, the um, biggest uh, headhunters uh, are the international ones uh, like uh, Cornell Ferry, Egon Zender, uh, some are American, some are European. Mm -hmm. And the American ones, uh, they usually have uh, their uh, uh, coaching company, which is different, of oh, course, uh, from the headhunter company. Yeah. And if it's not really a company, mm -hmm. uh, uh, they have uh, some uh, uh, coaches uh, as, you know, reference points uh, for, uh, for these people. That's interesting. That's funny because I, I too work with a headhunter sometimes and she will send people to me who are there but they're not sure why they're there or they're there and they need they need to get rid of a couple of habits uh, or <laughs> we won't say which ones but or uh, they need resume you know they need to really pull out of themselves what they want to put down on paper so they can present themselves so it, you're right it and it is a win-win it's like rather than the headhunter waste their time yeah. they're not trained to do that they're really trained to match people to jobs but if the person needs a little polish or a little clarification a coach is a perfect person that's funny that we're both doing the same thing yeah <laughs> And, and I'm, I'm thrilled to hear that in Italy that, that exists, too, because you're right. In America, I think they're finally realizing coaches can do that. <laughs> I don't need to do that, which is good. So what, what kind of tools do you use when, when you're... I know that you do um, something called Doll Quest. Yeah. Which I sounds so fascinating <laughs> to me. I don't know if we have it here, but I'm getting ready to check it out. Uh, so. Yeah, well, Doll Quest is one of the assessment tools uh, like the 5e, uh, like uh, the Myers HBDI, Brig, I think. Yeah, yeah right. uh, like uh, many other ones. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, I'll, I'm a certified uh, consultant for Doll Quest, uh, and I was really looking for an assessment tool. I use it, uh, the assessment tool is something I would like to have in my pocket. Uh, uh, I'm not always uh, using it, you know, mm -hmm. it depends on the situation, it depends on the objectives of my uh, of Do my you coaching. use it with middle management or do you use it when you work in the corporations? Uh, well, both of them, it depends really mm -hmm. on uh, on the kind of a project uh, and on the situation. When I use with the middle manager, um, I work with the middle managers, uh, it's really useful uh, because usually uh, they, they don't have have uh, a real awareness uh, or where they are mm -hmm. and uh, they just know they're in the middle and they're yeah, not happy yes yeah. they <laughs> are in the middle and uh, and and the doll quest is uh, I, I just love it because i was looking for a systemic approach mm -hmm. i have a systemic approach and i would have liked to to have an assessment test uh, mm -hmm. uh, which was systemic and you have uh, uh, five different levels uh, uh, of reading of a test mm. and and then you can just um, relate Th they are all interconnected and so you have so many things uh, to see and to say to to the guy mm -hmm. and of course the debriefing of, of this test is just uh, uh, a coaching session because uh, you have uh, so many information uh, and uh, these five levels uh, um, are uh, uh, well the, um, the doll quest uh, is uh, based uh, on uh, 
uh, recent uh, neuroscience. Um, neuroscience, yeah. Neuro neuroscience, uh, and uh, uh, the model is the model of the four brains. Uh, in, in America, you have the HBDI by Herman, which is uh, similar. Okay. Uh, and, um, and brain is very popular in America right now. How <laughs> we think, and the right brain, and the left brain. And it's like, I hate to think about how I think. But <laughs> everybody else seems to like it a lot. So. Well, it's just, you know, a model to simplify uh, the h how complex we are. Mm -hmm. But the, the thing I, I love of Dolquest, uh, uh, which is French as, as an origin. Oh, uh, I didn't know that. Yes, okay. Maria Elizabeth. Do you Elizabeth. think it's in the American, American culture? Or, uh, do you know if it's here? Uh, oh, it well, no, there, yeah. uh, there are no consultants. Uh, I asked Maria Elizabeth Buri. Uh, oh. She's the she's invented the the doll quest. Uh, <laughs> in, uh, right to the source, okay. Yeah. And uh, she told me that uh, uh, no. in in America it doesn't. Uh, in, uh, she she has no consultant here. It's a network, of course, of consultants. Uh, mm -hmm. And um, the thing I really like uh, is uh, that he doesn't uh, say who you are. Mm -hmm. uh, he doesn't, uh, uh, you know, put you in a sort of a prison, as I, I, I call them. That's why uh, you I know. don't like it. I don't want to put a person in a box here. Yeah, I think you're, you're missing other aspects. You are not aspects. put in a box. Yeah. It's just yourself because the third, it's a third generation assessment test. That means uh, that uh, um, uh, the aim is uh, to uh, um, enlarge it and enhance uh, uh, your awareness. Uh, and so the more mm -hmm. aware you are of yourself, uh, the more aware you can be of the, of the, of the other people. Uh, mm, and, and, okay. and so uh, it's, uh, it's not putting you in a box uh, uh, and helps a lot uh, in understanding your natural talents. Uh, your natural way uh, of um, seeing things, uh, so the kind mm -hmm. of lenses you just put on uh, mm -hmm. uh, when you look at things, uh, and uh, uh, understanding and being aware of your own kind of lenses, and being aware that other people could wear other kind of lenses, right. uh, it's really uh, interesting and important. And I have to say that when I use it, uh, and for example, I have uh, people who are not really aware, of course, uh, it really helps a lot. Mm -hmm. And uh, to me, it really fastens uh, the, the coaching process. So oh, it does. It makes yeah, it go it easier. Yeah, e easier oh. because I gain a lot of uh, uh, information uh, uh, in an easy way, you know, just reading the results of mm -hmm. the test uh, and uh, starting the coaching process, uh, mm -hmm. I already know uh, the natural talents, uh, the lenses uh, the, the guy or the girl uh, just uh, uses to, to read the word. Uh, and so to me, it's really... Um, so it actually, it helps you like speak in their language, is that right? Yeah. And you, you can yeah. speak to them? Definitely, because what if I'm talking yeah. to a right brain or left brain, uh, mm -hmm. I'm using different words. Words. Uh, I'm using different examples. Uh, I could see that um, as a useful tool. I'm yeah. using uh, I'm, I'm using different kind of models uh, because uh, uh, of course uh, they care for different things in a natural way. Right. And uh, and and so to me it's really um, nice to use it. And even if uh, uh, I use it uh, with uh, people who are. Uh, quite aware of themselves, uh, mm -hmm. it really helps uh, in uh, enlarge their vision of themselves uh, and okay. also in gaining uh, trust mm -hmm. uh, and self-esteem uh, because, you know, at the end they say, okay, oh, well, All uh, right. I didn't know. Says, yeah, I didn't know I was yeah. doing that. Okay. Well, let me ask you, let me put you on the spot. It's like, okay, I is it translated into, uh, it, 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 is this something you take online? Is yes, that what so it is? Yes, you okay. take online mm -hmm. just, uh, well, uh, it depends on, on the person but from 20 to 40 minutes uh, mm -hmm. just to, to do the test, okay. uh, 70 questions. And it's easier, it's easy. I mean, you, you just have to uh, put a one, two, three, four, mm -hmm. uh, a priority uh, on, on in the 70 questions. And okay. it's translated in, um, in uh, well, it's French, uh, Italian, English, uh, oh. Portuguese, uh, Spanish, uh, and I don't remember if there is some. Good, you answered language. my next question. Okay, so if it's translated in English, then can people contact you from here if they would like oh, to? Oh, yeah, sure, definitely. Really? How, would they, definitely. how do they find you? Where uh, are you? <laughs> uh, where, where, <laughs> where are you? <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, well, uh, they can uh, uh, find me in LinkedIn, for example. Oh, uh, LinkedIn. I'm, um, I'm okay. there. And you can see the spelling.
spelling of her name is at the top of the uh, uh, yeah. screen. Uh, so yeah. th that's the, the easiest way to uh, And to then find they can just say, I'm interested in, it's D-O-L-Q-U-E-S-T. D-O-L-Q-U-E-S-T, yes. Yeah, and you can, you'll send them the information, and then oh, you yeah, can sure. interpret it. Oh, oh yeah, I sure. Was, uh, now I'm excited. I wasn't aware it was in English. That's um, Yeah, and uh, actually the policy, the, the Dolquist policy says, that uh, uh, you have to have a debriefing from a consultant. And uh, I find it very serious uh, because, you know, when you read uh, a test, uh, I mean, you, you can read Again, everything. Again, you're reading from the same lenses, so you're going yeah. to see exactly what you want to see. So it's so nice to have your objective eyes who, you know, and your trained eyes <laughs> <laughs> yeah. who know what you're talking about. Uh, go through that. Oh, that's really kind of fun. I'm going to give you a contact. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I want to find out about Dolquist. I, it's interesting that it's not here. I mean, Myers-Briggs, I think, is probably the most popular here for some reason. Yeah. Um, but then there are other things coming on. So it's, uh, this would be great for some, well, if you want an Italian reading, <laughs> if you want to see what uh, Elena thinks, uh, <laughs> Contact her on LinkedIn, and uh, oh, that's that's fantastic. So, have you done that in other? You do that, you do it on a private basis, or is it more? Which which use is better, private or business? Well, actually, I use it uh, in both private and business, uh, and I, I I would have to say that it's. Uh, um, it's more business because for the companies uh, it's convenient because you know you, right. they have a, a, every single uh, uh, person has the text uh, we give them a manual and the company is, is, so is a sort of a gift you know ah. for, uh, for, for the guys so okay. let's say that I use it 70% uh, uh, for business, business yeah. and 30% for private but for private because it really depends uh, on uh, um, on on the objectives. Uh, and, I could see uh, for know. someone who was interested in changing careers or something like that, and that's interesting because in America, uh, if you want validity in a corporation, they want to see a test or an exam or some kind of assessment that that oh. gives them something to say. Here's what we spent our money on. So uh, yeah, so I, I guess it's I guess people are not that different <laughs> no matter where they are. It's like the corporations <laughs> want to see something in writing, and uh, but no, I think I, I could see it as um, an individual test too for. Some someone looking for a career oh, yeah, and sure. how they, or if they're having trouble where they are. It's like, what am I doing wrong or what, a, you know, why is everybody else crazy and I'm not, so. Yeah, in fact, I especially use it when uh, uh, there are people coming from um, on a private basis uh, and they want to change their work. No, oh, perfect, so I, yeah. I, 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 I usually use it because it's important because mm -hmm. it uh, stresses uh, on their own natural talents. Uh, and so sometimes, you know, they have in mind a work uh, that is not really not gonna good work. for them. <laughs> Just yeah. not going to happen, yeah. Well, we only have 30 seconds, believe it or not. So I first have to thank you so much because I'm telling Thanks you, she's on a you. whirlwind trip. And I said, please <laughs> come and do the show. And, <laughs> and she did, and I love that. And I, I want to tell them again, go to LinkedIn because um, if you want to find out what's happening in Italy, and this lady has both worlds. She's got the consulting part and the... Um, the private part so and and the coaching part and she's kind of put them all together and that's really unique so ilana and we just love that elena i'm so sorry <laughs> oh, thank you <laughs> i like both names <laughs> elena but her real name is elena morrow and thank you so much for being on the show it was my pleasure thank, thank you, you.